morning, Cougars. I'm Carlin Sakani Matthews. And I'm Luke Picard. We are coming to you for a special episode because we couldn't wait two full weeks without having a show. That's right, but you'll have to wait for any kind of sports, weather, or 60-second news. Today, we're here to talk about something very big coming to the school soon. Envision More, the capital campaign project to expand the reach of every one of S-Team's programs, is about to take on the next phase of expansion. There are four phases to the campaign. We've all become familiar with our new math building. This was the first step of Envision More. The next step, and this year's focus, is a brand new chapel. Our religion department will see a huge improvement with where we worship on campus. The chapel will be built in the front of school. It is modeled to represent the Chelsea Old Church, the place where St. Thomas More himself often worshipped. The new chapel will not only enhance the St. Thomas More religion space, but will also contain a memorial to our own patron saint, St. Thomas More, as well as St. Maria Goretti, patron saint of purity. The chapel will have fixed seating for 250 people and will contain a reconciliation room, vesting room, and campus ministry space. Additionally, since the chapel will be located at the front of the existing school, it will clearly define St. Thomas More as a Catholic school. Some wonderful benefits of the chapel is that it will provide standalone space for morning, midday, and afternoon prayer, along with confession. Also, it will have seating for an entire grade level, along with space for adoration and formation-based based meetings, such as Parents for Life. All of those features sound absolutely amazing. Agreed. I even heard Father Russo visited the Chelsea Old Church in June with one of our very own students, Carmen Simino. We're so blessed to have this opportunity, and I can't wait until we can start construction on this new edition of our campus. So without further ado, check out this video with more in-depth information about the new chapel. Well, we started in Rome and, um, and set mass at all the, the special spots in the Rome. The basilicas. And saw the sites uh, connected to the life of St. Thomas More. Yep. And we went into the Tower of London to the cell where he spent his last days. Very that few people special. get to see that cell because it's not open to the public, but they opened it up for our group because they knew that we were connected to a high school named after the saint. Yep. Well, having the the chapel replicate the church where St. Thomas More himself worshipped makes the chapel not only a place of worship but an educational building as well and connects us to his life. Saints are not just uh, lifeless statues, right? So uh, they're real people and, and this building will be a replica of a building that he himself uh, entered and would worship and he would serve mass in this church. So it makes the reality of the saints all the more room for us. The new chapel, if like everyone can have like a sense of meaning behind the history of St. Thomas More, how everything from his lore to being true to the faith, like the ones that are coming in like the incoming freshmen next year, if they can try to stay true to the faith and believe in what, who they are and don't change anything. A plus. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. We can't wait for what's to come here on campus. With STM On Air, I'm Luke Picard. And I'm Carlin Sakani Matthews. See you next week for our first official episode.